Alright, so we're on page 376. We're adding and subtracting polynomials. Basically, this is adding and subtracting like terms. Okay, you can only add and subtract like terms. So, polynomials, remember this from Wednesday, are just something like, well, something like this. Uh, what's one of these things called by itself? Well, a one term polynomial is called a monomial, but what's one of these inside of a polynomial? <coughs> that I mean? It's called a term. Uh, what is, what kind of polynomial is this if it's got two terms? Binomial, yeah. And what is the degree of this polynomial? Oh, um... You add the powers four, together. Five. So this would be five, this was three, so the degree of the polynomial is five. Anyways, that's what we did on Wednesday. So, if you're adding polynomials together, like this, plus let's say another polynomial, like uh, 5x squared y minus 2xy cubed z. You can only add and subtract like terms. If there is a plus right here, it doesn't, because order matter, order of addition doesn't matter, you can just go ahead and add whatever together. If there is a minus right here, you basically just need to distribute that minus out. <laughs> So you have to subtract the 5x squared y from this 3x squared y. And you'd have to subtract the minus 2x cubed y z. And when you subtract a negative, it makes a plus. So basically you'd have to do minus 5 of these plus 2 of these. So that makes it a little bit tricky, but anyway, we'll talk, we'll do some more. Number one. So they lined them up vertically, and see how they lined up the uh, same, the like terms for us? So 3m plus 7m plus 9m, 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 plus 9 is 19m. Why is it not 19m squared or 19m to the third? What does m to the third mean? Means what though? Um, m times m times m. M times m times m. So we're not multiplying here. So that's why we're not getting m to the third or anything. The exponents are not changing. We're just adding the numbers in front. You guys remember what the numbers in front are called of the term? Starts with the C. Coefficients. Coefficients. We're just adding the coefficients. Num oh, we're not done. And then there, <clears throat> on number one, there's also plus four, plus two, plus minus 12. So it's just four plus two minus 12. Four plus two is six. Six minus 12 is negative six. So it's minus six right there. Nothing, or not, <clears throat> this is a pretty straightforward lesson. <clears throat> Number three, so they lined up the like terms for us. So we can do, can we do 4m squared plus 2m? Can we simplify that? Are those like terms? 4m squared plus 2m, can we add those together? No. Whatever m squared is, it's not going to be the same as m. Uh, so just they're just like different letters. But we can do 4m squared plus 3m squared, which is... 7m squared, and then what's 2m plus 8m plus 10m, and then what's negative 9 plus 4? Negative 5, so minus 5. Okay, number 5, these 5 through 8 is trickier because what's the difference? We're subtracting the bottom polynomial. 
So we've got to subtract all those bottom terms, not just the first one. So on 5, we have to do 5a minus 2a, which makes 3a. But we also have to do the positive 3 minus the negative 5. So it's basically it's like 3 minus minus 5. So what happens when you have minus 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 negative? Makes it a plus. So it's more actually like 3 plus 5. So that is positive 8. Okay, if you miss problems on this page, it'll probably because that was bad. When you are subtracting the second polynomial, you have to subtract all of it. And when you minus a minus, it makes a plus. Number seven. So, Caleb on seven. Ah. How many X's do we have? Uh, five? No. What? We're subtracting the bottom one. Oh. Basically, it's 1x minus 4x. Negative 3x. Negative 3x. And then we have how many xy's, Caleb? xy's. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at I was looking at number 8. How many y's do we have? We have 2y minus minus 8y. See where I'm getting that from? I think so. There's a minus in front of a minus 8y. Uh, is it 10y? Yes, so it's 2y plus 8y, 10y. Positive 10y, so I'm going to put plus 10y. And then what do we have for the constants, which means the normal numbers? Because we have negative 3 on top and then minus the 3 on the bottom. So negative 3 minus 3 oh. is negative 6. Yes. Okay, number nine. These are the same kinds of problems. They're just written horizontally. But you can still only add and subtract like terms. Oh boy. So, how many X's? Maybe we'll go around the horn. Jared, how many X's do we have on number nine? Nine. Nine, huh? nine X's. Just add five to four. And then how many Y's do we have? Three Y's. Plus three ones. Yeah. Scientific notation is the short way to read it, right? Yeah. That's what the was written. Oh, okay. The other, the normal way is they just call it standard. But the, the, I didn't believe it was on the test. Anyway, number 11. Isaac. How many, let's see, on number 11, how many X cubes? Do we have? Uh, we have two x cubes. Um, mm. I mean, uh, we have a five and then x to the six. Okay, no. You don't have x, you don't change the exponent because x to the third times x to the third is x to the sixth, but we are not multiplying. So 
you just add the coefficients in front. So 3x cubed plus 2x cubed is 5x cubed. Kind of like saying if I have two boxes of pencils, I don't know how many are in each box, but plus three boxes of pencils, I have five boxes of pencils. So this thing does not change. I don't have like five boxes of pencils, and then the box of pencils is square or anything. Um, anyway, when you're adding, just the number in front changes. All right, and then Isaac, how many? Let's see, X. I see some X's. How many X's do I have? 4x plus what? 4x minus 5x right. plus 3x. Right. 4 minus 5 is? Uh, negative 1. Plus 3? Uh, 2. So it's positive 2. And then how many? Okay, I see some y. Actually, I kind of skipped the x squared. Let me see some x squared. That's all right. We'll come back and get them. Uh, how many y's do I have? Second parentheses, I do see an x squared term. So, how many x squareds do we have? It's just the 9 term. So, plus 9x squared. And what am I, what did I miss, guys? No, actually, the book wrote it in standard order. You guys remember what standard order was from? The biggest and smallest. Yeah, the highest power first. So that's how they would probably, the book wrote it, probably. What did I miss, though? Yeah, they, the book, just the normal numbers. The book calls them the constants. Yeah, the numbers are by themselves. So plus 7 plus 8 makes plus 15. Yeah, the order doesn't, you don't have to put it in any particular order. But the plus or minus Guys, the plus or minus in front does matter. So I don't know if you noticed, I moved the minus y around. It has to be a minus y. It doesn't really matter where it's at. But. Okay, 13. So on 13, there's, we're subtracting. We're switching to subtracting. Combine switching and subtracting. Switching. I don't know. Uh, Kyle, on 13, how many x's do we have? 1x. 1x. So I'm just going to put x. How many y's do we have? It's a trick question. Y. Nope. So basically, we have 1y in the first parentheses minus a minus 1y in the second parentheses. So there was a minus in front of the parentheses, and, I, and there was a minus inside the parentheses. You guys see where I'm getting this from? There was a minus in front of the parentheses, and then there was a minus inside the parentheses. It's plus. So it's plus. So how many y's do I have? Two. Two. And then uh, the numbers, will, the constants will probably all, also trick people. Kyle, how much? What's going to happen to that negative 7? What are we going to have? Fourteen. Fourteen? So, when you subtract a positive 7, basically it's just subtracting 7. So we have negative 7 minus 7, which is negative 14. Or minus 14. Yeah, a lot of people would put zero for that. So we come here. It's not zero. What would make it zero? Negative seven plus seven. Okay, that would make it zero. But negative seven minus seven, they actually work together to make negative 14. Okay, number 15. Uh, yes, there. How many? I see an a cubed. How many a cubes do we have? Negative one, yeah, so 
So just make it negative a cubed. How many, I see a b squared. How many uh, b squareds do we have? There's only the four b squared. How many c's do I have? This is the tricky part. Correct, you got it. She didn't fall for the trap. So it's negative three minus minus 12. So it's negative three plus 12. So if you're three in the hole and you gain $12, how, many, how much money do you have? Confused, you can you could plug negative three minus negative twelve in the calculator. It'll give you nine. Just remember this. Now let's see, number seventeen. Okay, now how many y squareds do we have? So we have one y squared in the first parentheses, and then we have minus in between the nine y squared. So what's one minus nine? Negative eight y squared. And then how many y's? I s on the y's I see three y minus minus four y. Right. So that's yeah. That's actually a plus. So seven y. And then how many, what's left? How many, what do I have for my constant? Eight, 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 e
Those are the ones that are more likely to fool you, so maybe I'll come check here. Maybe number eight is slightly harder. I'll come check here, number eight. And then come. 